it's Liv, and today, with Biology in a Box, we are going to be learning about SCAT. This is Unit 7, Exercise 2C. Tracks are one way to tell that an animal has been present. However, animals also leave behind other signs, such as SCAT. SCAT is another term for poop. A person that studies poop, or SCAT, is called a scatologist. Even though it may seem gross to study poop, there is an amazing amount of information that you can learn from it. While completing this exercise, I want you to think about what all we could learn from poop. Remember, this poop is clean and safe. It was first dried out, then coated in plastic, and then sealed in a container. While completing the exercise, please do not try to open the containers that contain the poop. The purpose of this activity is to identify the diet of the animal by the scat. It is best for age groups 3rd grade through 12th grade. You will need the general scat characteristic page, which can be found at the website above and looks like this. It is this little list right here. And you will need the scats A through H, starting with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. The instructions for this are use the description of the scat characteristics from the introduction to group the scats by the diet type of the animal that left them. You can check your answers by using the answer key at the end of the book, which looks like this here in the back of the book. Identifying scat is not as easy as identifying animal tracks because it is more variable. No two scats are exactly alike and an individual scat can change based on what it is eating and how much it's eating. Earlier I asked you what, about what all we could learn from scat. By examining the shape, size, texture, content, location, and DNA, you can determine an, an animal species map the area over which the animal roams, identify the food that forms the animal's diet, determine animal's health status, and identify relatives. Have fun being a scatologist. Thanks for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up and see you next time on Biology in a Box.